This is the story of Disney's 102 Dalmatians. To play the story right now, press the green forward button. If you'd like to read the story yourself, you can switch between the play mode and the read mode by pressing the white mode button. You can move through the story by using the green forward button and the blue back button. To pause the story, press the purple pause button. You can quit at any time by pressing the yellow quit button. So, press the green forward button and let's begin now. It was Cruella's big day in court. Her lawyer and her doctor were arguing that she had changed. My client is cured. A Dalmatian was brought into the courtroom. Cruella just smiled and chuckled sweetly at the dog. The judge was convinced. Cruella de Vil, I am releasing you into the custody of the probation office. You will perform 500 hours of community service. He also warned her that if she committed more crimes, her whole fortune would go to the docks. It would all be given to the dog shelters of Westminster. Cruella left prison and reunited with her faithful valet, Alonzo. He had bought her a furless dog, and Cruella named the dog Fluffy. At home, Cruella looked forward to relaxing. But in her bedroom, she got a big surprise. Cruella ordered Alonzo to immediately lock her furs and the design of the original puppy coat, the reason she ended up in prison, in a secret room. Across town, parole officer Chloe Simon was finishing a meeting with Ewan, a young man who worked at the Second Chance dog shelter, when suddenly her phone rang. Learning that her Dalmatians, Dipstick and Dotty were ready to deliver their puppies, Chloe ran out of her office. Chloe's boss, Agnes, quickly handed Chloe a file. It was about Cruella de Vil. At home, Chloe helped Dotty safely deliver three puppies. The last one to come out had no spots. Afterward, she sat down to read Cruella's file. Despite her dislike for Cruella, Chloe was going to have to meet with her in the morning. At the meeting, Chloe objected to Cruella's request to work with dogs. I see you more as a coal miner, or something in the sewers, perhaps. Cruella saw that she would have to find a community service project on her own. At the Second Chance Dog Shelter, Manager Kevin Shepherd played with his dogs Drula and Chomp and Waddlesworth, a parrot that thought he was a dog. Suddenly a car pulled up and the dogs ran away at the sight of it. Kevin also recognized the car. Cruella de Vil. Please, please, call me Ella. This place and I were made for each other. Is it yours? Alonzo, buy the dump. When Chloe saw news of Cruella buying the shelter on TV, she hopped on her motor scooter and drove there to put an end to the monkey business. Kevin was outside. And you call yourself a dog lover? People like Cruella don't change. Of course they do. Kevin led Chloe through the shelter and introduced each animal. She was touched by how much Kevin loved them. In the back room, television cameras were filming Cruella as she styled a sheepdog. Hair must be a statement, a reflection of our inner life. Due to Cruella's charity work, the shelter was receiving huge donations, and in the next few months, it was transformed into a palace. Still, the dogs never seemed comfortable being around her. One day when Cruella was expected, Chloe brought her Dalmatians to work. 
Agnes was thrilled. So this is Domino. Yeah. <laughs> and I know Oddball because she doesn't have any... Shh, shh. I don't want to be sensitive about her lack of, um... S-P-O-T-S. Is that normal at her age? Well, like everything else about her, <laughs> it is a bit odd. From Agnes's office, Oddball wandered off to the coffee machine. Seeing the repairman give himself spots by rubbing his toner-covered hands on his pants, Oddball thought that she could get spots by rolling in toner. Busy at work, the repairman didn't notice Oddball climbing onto the copier. When he flung open the cover, Oddball went flying out the window. Her barking alerted her siblings as she fell into the outside gutter. Cruella couldn't believe she was seeing puppies outside the window. I'm seeing spots. Then Big Ben started to chime, and Cruella found herself twitching. She didn't know that loud noises reversed her doctor's therapy. Suddenly, she wanted those spotted puppies. Chloe had to lean way out the window to rescue her puppies. Cruella caught Oddball and began stroking her soft fur. Dipstick didn't trust her. Chloe turned to see a dazed Cruella leaving. Outside, Cruella realized that Dipstick was one of the original 101 Dalmatians. This completed Cruella's transformation to her old self. Bella's gone, and Cruella's back! <laughs> Cruella rushed home to unpack all of her furs and the drawings for the coat. But Dalmatian, are they good? The coat of dreams, the ultimate fur coat. Cruella told Alonzo to start stealing puppies, then left to surprise Le Pelt, an old friend, at his fur fashion show. Cruella de Vil, my idol, my inspiration, and my soul. Mr. Le Pelt has clearly run out of ideas. <laughs> I propose an alliance mm -hmm. between Mr. Le Pelt and the House of Deville. Alonzo entered Le Pelt's dressing room with a sack as Cruella explained her plans to Le Pelt. The gods from poopies. Ah, not just any poopies. Poopies with spots. We need 102. This time, I want a hooded spotted puppy coat. Alonzo objected to the numbers of puppies needed. It's not all that easy to steal all those steal? Who said anything about steel? Oh, stop whining. I'm a perfectly good idiot to take the fall. <laughs> so Cruella set up Kevin as the dog napper. When the police pulled up in front of the shelter, Alonzo sneaked in to plant evidence. Then Chloe arrived and questioned the police. No, he's not the one. Why suspect Kevin? Caught him red-handed. And he's got a record for dog napping. <laughs> Kevin and his animals were taken to jail. Chloe, thinking that Kevin was the bad guy, accepted an invitation for herself and Dipstick to a formal dinner at Cruella's that night. Dotty stayed home to nurse the puppies. During the night, Oddball heard a strange sound. When she got up to investigate, she found a lapelt climbing in the bathroom window. <laughs> But clumsy lapelt slipped and fell into the toilet, awakening Dotty. Bravely, Dotty tried to save her puppies, but lapelt caught them all. What lapelt didn't know was that Oddball sent a bark for help to all the dogs in London. At the party, Fluffy got Dipstick's attention and asked him to follow her. As Fluffy showed Dipstick and Chloe the secret room, they heard the barked message relayed from Oddball. Dipstick bolted. Suddenly, Cruella appeared and locked Chloe in the room. In jail, Kevin and his dogs were crowded onto one cot when Oddball's bark reached their ears. Waddlesworth perked up. Trouble, oh trouble. 
Must be puppies talking. Bad man grab with a wands, twee potted doggies. Oh my gosh. Chloe's dogs. Waddlesworth sang the jail guard to sleep, then stole his keys to the cell. Kevin and the dogs rushed to Chloe's flat. <coughs> Dipstick was the first to arrive at Chloe's, but when he heard barking from a truck, he quickly changed directions and caught up with the pelt. <coughs> at Cruella's mansion, Fluffy freed Chloe. She got to her flat at the same time as Kevin. I'm so sorry, I, I, I should have trusted you. No, I should never have trusted Cruella. The dogs found Le Pelt's train ticket. Everyone rushed to the station. At the train station, Cruella inspected the Dalmatians. She was shocked to see that Oddball was all white. I need spotted puppies. Alonzo! Kill it! Alonzo tried to catch Oddball, but gave up when he saw Kevin and Chloe arrive at the station. He boarded the train, reunited with Cruella and Lapelt, and reassured them that they would never see Oddball again. Meanwhile, Oddball was in danger of being crushed by the train's wheels. Seeing this, Waddlesworth remembered that he had wings. I can fly! Dogs can fly! He flew to his friend's rescue and carried her to the baggage area beneath Cruella's car. As the train left the station, Kevin and Chloe rushed aboard the fast-moving Eurostar so they could get to Paris in time. When Cruella and her gang reached Paris, they quickly put the dogs on a truck and left for the Pelts factory. A pair of poodles heard the barking. Seconds later, Kevin and Chloe arrived at the station. Digger howled in despair. The poodles howled in return, sharing what they had heard. Kevin, Chloe and the dogs took off trying to catch Cruella and the dogs. At the fur factory, Oddball and Waddlesworth sneaked in behind Cruella and Lapelt and hid in the coats. Alonzo put the Dalmatians in the basement. When Alonzo left, Chloe, Kevin and his dogs crept in. Everyone was reunited. Okay, let's get them out of here. Hearing the noise, Cruella went outside and slammed the basement door shut. Aren't you in a tight spot? Once Cruella left, Waddlesworth began enlarging a hole in the floor. Kevin and Chloe handed the puppies up through the hole. Then, Oddball herded them toward the top of the stairs. But from Lapelt's office, Cruella saw Oddball. She turned on Alonzo. You lied to me, you worm! I'll kill her myself. Cruella stormed after Oddball. Lapelt went after Alonzo. Suddenly, Waddlesworth screeched and flew out from the rack of furs. Startled, Lapelt fell onto a sewing machine that stitched his sleeves to his jacket. He stumbled across the room and fell through the hole. Alonzo helped Kevin, Chloe, and the dogs escape. He directed Chloe toward the bakery. Quickly, upstairs! She's after the puppies! Cruella followed the puppies into an industrial bakery. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Sweet puppy. On top of a high piece of equipment, she lunged at Oddball, but hit a button that turned on the machine. It lurched forward and Cruella fell into a mixing pan. When she grabbed onto an egg release lever, a million eggs plopped onto her head. Then she was flipped into a mixing bowl where the puppies bombed her with sacks of flour. Soon the white powder made the puppies all look alike. When Oddball popped her head up and barked, Cruella started to warn the puppy to finish her off. I've got you now, you little rat! Then Waddlesworth swooped down on Cruella and she fell into a cake pan just as it was rolling toward the red hot oven. When the Cruella cake was done, it rolled out onto the conveyor belt and the puppies decorated it in victory. Then Chomp shoved the cake into the display window. 
Dozens of gendarmes arrested Cruella and carried her, still stuck in the cake, to a paddy wagon where the pelt waited inside. The 102 Dalmatians rejoiced as Cruella and the pelt were taken away. At the Second Chance Dog Shelter, Alonzo and Fluffy pulled up and handed Kevin an envelope. Eight million pounds. <laughs> yes, it's the judge's orders. <laughs> uh, it's for the dogs, of course. Oddball slid into Chloe's arms. Oh, Oddball! <laughs> what have you been doing? Kevin, look. Oddball's got her spots! <laughs> look! With Cruella in jail, money for the shelter, and spots on Oddball, it was a happy day for everyone. If you really want to quit, click on the picture of Fluffy. To keep playing, click on the picture of Oddball. Click on Waddlesworth if you would like to visit Disney.com.